Bang it! Oh! How has that not gone in? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, Leeds United at home. Massive test, probably the biggest test of the season so far. Obviously, Leicester have made a slightly better start to the season, but I think Leeds are really starting to turn it on in recent weeks. Yeah, massive test tonight, probably two of the best sides in the league, excluding Ipswich. And you know, this tonight could be, could be really an open game as well. Two changes from QPR, obviously that was, wasn't the most convincing win, but we got the job done once again. Stay top of the league, a win tonight could be absolutely massive as well. So two games before the international break, if we could pick up six points, that would be very ideal. Let's get in there, come on Leicester. Thinking goals tonight. I'm going to go with a 3 2 win for Leicester. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a very open game. Leeds will be on the transition. I'll go Dewsbury to back one, Mava Didi, and Marley's going to score. I don't know if I lead, maybe Dan James or someone else, but yeah, it's going to be open. 20 minutes to go for my next time. Hello everyone, welcome to the Power Stadium for the Skydate Championship match between Leicester City and Leicester. Leicester, Leicester, Leicester. Number 30, Matt Hermanson. Yeah. Number 2, James Jones. Yeah. The going down of the sun and in the morning we will. Be happy again and smile. The whole world smiles with you. The whole world smiles with you. Go on, Leicester. Go on, Leicester. Into it. Straight back up, straight back up. Yes. Play football, the end zone. Big chance for Joel Perot. Leeds pressing us very high straight away and they've won it back. Go on, get it out, boys. Go on! Oh. Down the right part of the customs in for the Leicester. Come on. Leicester! 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 Leicester. That's it. Oh! Out. Yeah. Right in. Come on, get out, boys. Go on, Steffi. Oh. Easy. Yeah. Go on. Oh. Slight chance, but game's not very. Not too many chances last 10 minutes or so. Been a bit tight. Leeds have been having a bit of chance on the break, though. And so's Bill, man. Go on, Abdul. Oh. Go on, Steffi. Go on. Oh. Go on, Abdul. Fucking oh. oh. hell. off the ball. That would have been some goal. He's going forward. Oh. 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 Another shot from Fowler this time, miles wide, but he's been our best player by miles so far. Oh! Go 
Shoot! Oh. Go on, Lester. Go on. Go on, one more. Big chance for Leeds, slow start to a half once again. Emerson had to make a good save and the second one was more straightforward. We need to start off a bit quicker. Four goal up, it's from a corner, it's deflected in. It's about a third half. Good as a Leeds fan down there. One no Leeds, they were scored, but it's got to come from behind again. Yes! Time wasting from Leeds. That's bad. Come on. Go on, it's fucking hanging. Oh. How has that not gone in? Last couple of minutes. Probably, will, probably be the last chance. Come on. Oh. There we go, back from the King Power. First loss in a very long time. I think the last loss in the league was that game against Hull, which was, funny enough, pretty similar to that one, a 1-0 defeat. But, yeah, I would have expected a bit more. I think we could have got at least slightly more. We, I think we had one shot on target in the whole game, and that came quite late on. We had moments at times, but I just thought we could have gave it a bit more to that Leeds defence, who has conceded quite a few goals this season. So... Yeah, it's you know it wasn't the worst performances, but it was far from a it's far from a, a solid and a great performance. I think there's a, still a lot of work to be done, and, and to lose that game on a set piece is it is frustrating. A scrappy goal, we should have done well. we better to deal with it in the end. Obviously, Leeds' man Ruta was the man who was there on the spot. Strikers finish clinical and put it into the back of the net when needed. So fair play to him on that, but. Yeah, I just think to lose that game from a set piece has got to be frustrating when Leeds' main threat was obviously going into the game, the transition with Dan James, Somerville, etc. Um, going forward. So, yeah, it was, it was one of them really. You know, Leeds had the game plan, they implemented it quite well. They started both halves really strong and Leicester kind of grew into it. And obviously, second half, they got their goal within the first 20 minutes or so from Ruta. So, yeah, disappointing. It was quite an even game, I thought. I just think Leeds had the better chances and took them in the end. And that's what I mean. Leicester just lacked that spark in that final third. Obviously, we tried Vardiani and Acho. None of them really worked too well. A lot of it came down Fatou's side, who 
I thought what did quite well tonight, but I think by the end of it, he was just knackered really because every single attack was just down his side. He kept running at the fullback, and most of the time we did get the better of him. But frustrating game. Um, I think Lee's did well in midfield as well for Ampadu and, and Kamara. I think in there as well. We all know that they obviously got a decent side. I don't think we can be too disappointed. Obviously, you know we're still eleven points clear of Leeds. We made a very good start to the season. Second loss in the league under Enzo Maresca. But I just hopefully now that a game against Bora next weekend is quite important, especially going into that international break. So three points there would make tonight's loss not feel as bad. But yeah, you know, it's 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 frustrating, but we still made a great start and you know we can still take positives. And on another day, I think if we were a bit more clinical and had that spark in the final third, we probably could have got something. But yeah, uh, fair play to Leeds, I guess. They did well and come away from the King Power with three points. But yeah, that's it for today's vlog. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Let me know your thoughts on today's game in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you boys next week for Middlesbrough away before another international break. I'll see you boys there. Stay safe in a bit.